thank you, President. My adjournment matter is for the Minister for Housing, um, and that seems very appropriate seeing that it is Homelessness Week. But it concerns the really successful Geelong project, and I, I can see Ms Lovell here in the chamber. Uh, we met with the Geelong project in, at, oh, and sorry, Ms Maxwell. Uh, we, we met the Geelong project during our um, inquiry into homelessness. And in fact, we, we were so impressed by the, the early intervention of the work that they did um, and the way that they could actually prevent homelessness amongst young people. And they did this through this really innovative work of working with schools and communities. We were so impressed that we made a recommendation for them. And recommendation 19 um, relates to the expansion of the community of schools and services model, better known as the Geelong Project or the COS model. We know that this actually has achieved a 40% reduction in adolescent homelessness at the same time, a 20% reduction in early school leaving. It's quite an extraordinary program that doesn't take a lot of money, that just takes um, a bit of commitment from schools and, 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 and government. Um, the positive outcomes like these are just rarely achieved. And it really, again, which is what we learnt in the report, highlighted the impact that early intervention can have. And we know that if someone becomes homeless when they are young, they are going to be, there is a great likelihood that that will go with them for the rest of their lives. Um, so there are seven new community sites waiting to implement this model right here, right now. I'd like to call it shovel ready, but I'm not sure they use a shovel. Um, so the action I'm seeking is really straightforward, that the Minister for Housing acts on this recommendation forthwith and takes immediate steps to extend, expand the community of schools and services model to these additional seven community sites. Mr. Richard Phillip. 